Hello, my name is Amanda Lind. I work for Blue Marble Geographics. Today I'm going to show you how to make a flow accumulation grid in Global Mapper. A flow accumulation grid, I have an example here, is a grid where each cell has a value that represent, represents water flow across the landscape. This value is the number of cells that water has flown across before it gets to the solid cell. These layers can be used in raster calculator for equations like soil loss measurement, and, um, erosion, and other such equations as well. So let's look at how to do it in Global Mapper. With your DEM, your solid surface elevation layer loaded, we are going to use a side function in the watershed generation tool. This tool measures the movement of water across a terrain layer. So it pretends that a single drop of water is dropped on each cell. And for each cell, it looks at the um, six surrounding cells and it sees which one has a lower elevation point to it. So it takes the water from this cell to the next cell of lower elevation, does the calculation again, and moves across the landscape. And of course, these um, mo this movement of water across the terrain is going to create streams and rivers. And that's what this tool helps to um, demarcate. We can look at, uh, we can make lines for stream layers, we can create watershed areas, but what we're going to focus on today is creating a flow point. So this is going to create a layer of points across the grid, where one point per each cell, where the point is going to be assigned an attribute called flow accumulation, and that's going to be the attribute that we use to create the grid from. So from within the watershed generation options, I'm going to turn off everything except this checkbox here in the bottom right hand corner to create flow points with symbol. Uh, you can change the symbols if you want to. It has no effect. Um, you can change the resolution up or down to increase or decrease processing times depending on the level of um, accuracy that you're looking for at the level of resolution. So I'm going to click OK to process that real quick. So this tool is going to create two different layers. One of them we can see automatically, and that's the streams layer. It's a line layer, and we don't need that for this workflow, so we can go ahead and turn it off or close it. And then this next layer is a point layer. Because there's a point created for each grid cell, Global Mapper isn't going to show them until we zoom pretty far in. And then each of these points are going to be displayed with an arrow, where the size of the arrow represents or corresponds to the level of flow accumulation. And we can look at that attribute real quick just with the feature info tool here. So if I click on a smaller arrow, it's going to have a very small flow accumulation. This one happens to be zero. But if we click on a larger arrow, we'll see an increased flow accumulation. And we can also see it increasing as we start to go downhill here. So how do we take these vector features and make them into a grid? As I said earlier, we're going to use the create elevation grid, but first we need to trick Global Mapper into thinking flow accumulation attribute is actually an elevation attribute. It's very easy. I'm going to double click on the point layer here to open up the vector options. And from vector options, I'm going to open the elevations tab. I'm going to change this top drop down option here to get elevation from attribute value. I'm going to override the elevation already within it, and I'm going to choose flow accumulation. So I click OK, and Global Mapper is thoroughly bamboozled and thinks that flow accumulation is now an elevation value. So we can just open the elevation, create elevation grid tool, and then we can create our grid. All of these settings here um, don't really apply. There's the no data distance criteria, which is an interpolation. And again, you can set that to either way. It's dense enough that it doesn't really matter. So I'll click OK to create the grid. It'll take just a second here. So I zoom out. We can see that the streams that we were looking at in these little river areas have a much higher flow accumulation than the areas around it. And that's represented by the color. So as we said earlier, Global Mapper now thinks flow accumulation values are elevation. And we can see that in the shader here on the side. But you and I both know that it isn't measured in meters. It's measured in the number of cells. And we can see that when we open the feature info tool again. If I click in the middle of this river, it's going to say that the elevation, the height value is 17,000 meters high. But we know that's actually flow accumulation. And now that you have this grid, you can use it in raster calculator or with any calculations you need. Uh, for more information about Global Mapper, visit our website at bluemarblegeo.com, or if you have any specific questions, email our tech team at geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com.